Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at the final piece to Wave 1 of Prince Adam's Sky Sled 2-Pack. Here we go. Look at the top here, we got Prince Adam in battle between Skeletor and looks like Faker and Trapjaw. And we got Man-at-Arms and some Eternia Palace Guards. We'll flip it around to the back here. Some more amazing artwork here. With He-Man, looks like he's about to run over Skeletor. With Beastman and Castle Grayskull in the background here. There you go. And a feature call out of, of the uh, what you can do with this sky sled here. You can switch like heads to make it a good sky sled with the good heroes or a bad sky sled for all the evil warriors and stuff like that. And of course, the cross sale of all the figures in Wave 1. Okay. Let's back around and let's take a look at the, the, the figure first of Prince Adam and there he is now notice he is wearing his formation style look and not his mini comic style look so if you remember this is what he looked like in the mini comic book with that real fabric and that was something that a lot of fans and I'm hoping they will do a re-release of this particular figure with that soft goods. And I'm going to show you what it looked like back in the in the day. So that's Prince Adam what he looked like back in the 80s with that real style fabric for a, a jacket. And I'm hoping they will do a re-release of Prince Adam, a single release of Prince Adam. Maybe like a two-pack maybe with maybe Cringer. But they went with a plastic look for his jacket, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. But I was really hoping to have a real fabric cloth like the mini comics did. But like with all figures, he comes with that uh, real posability, and you can move his head around, and you can bend his elbows and stuff like that. It's kind of tight here, but you can move his elbows, you can move his, his feet. His ankles and stuff like that. You can like like oh sorry about that. You can like pop his head off and switch around for a more updated version. Which I have right here. I apologize. There we go. And you have a, like a more of uh, of that old school style look. Let's put his sword right there. His hand. There we go. So yeah, there you go. There's Prince Adam right there. Front and back right here. Alright, so let's move on to the sky sled itself. Okay, we got I got two right here. I got one for the good guys, and I have one for the bad guys. We're gonna try to get it so that you can see it in the picture here. And basically, like like the other figures, you can swipe swap parts and switch out parts to make it good or bad. It's also a great army builder and stuff like that if you wish. And it comes with with a flight stand. The original now the original it was part of the battle ram set, and it was a and I'm gonna show you in this book right here. So that's what it looked like back in the day and back in the 80s, a battle ram. And the sky sled would be removed, as you can see in the photograph right here. All right, so the sky sled back in the 80s, like I said, it was a part of a bigger vehicle. And some people speculate uh, that we will get the other half of the battle ramp to put with the sky sled, with this sky sled. I think that we're just going to get a full battle ram with this. But you cannot remove it, basically. That's my theory. But it's, but it's fully posable. You can move it around. You can shoot. Because the original one did not have a, a flight stand. This is brand new.
and it comes with blaster effect as well. This thing is fully art. You can move this around as if you wish. Shoot people. And the stickers already come with it and stuff like that. I believe in the old and back in the 80s you had to put the stickers on yourself. So that's one less step that you don't have to worry about. About the sky sled. But an amazing vehicle. Uh, a great vehicle to have a part of your collection for the Origins line. And a great way to end wave one. There you go, guys. Once again, I want to thank uh, Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics for allowing me for me to use this book to help me reference uh, some vintage uh, He-Man vehicles and figures. All right, guys. Well, thank you, guys. Once again, thank you for all my new subscribers. Uh, please like the video, hit that notification bell on the top right corner to you know when I upload new Beagle uh, videos every day. Um, I've been really enjoying these vehicle videos, guys. Uh, the next thing I'll be doing is Wave 2 and all the figures that come with it on Wave 2 starting tomorrow. Once again, I'm going to show you. One last look of the sky sled. And this part right here, real quick, you can just remove it. You can see it, it just removes. And you can place this with, you know, that version. So, yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, Mattel will do a re release of Prince Adam with that real uh, cloth look. Like his mint, his uh, his mini comic book version, that real fabric that we all know and love back in the eighties. All right, guys. Well, thank you for subscribing. Please like the video, and until next time, take care, guys.